friends welcome back to another Oracle Apex video. In this video we will see the implementation of dynamic image cursor in Oracle Apex. Before proceeding further in this video I will request to all of you that if you want to more video related to Oracle Apex then give your support through subscribe this channel and like this video. It is all motivation to make more videos. Let's see and create dynamic cursor in Oracle Apex. Before starting this implementation, I will request that you should knowledge about few things. First, how to create image URL in Oracle Apex and how to generate JSON in Oracle Apex. For first, I have already uploaded one video related to how to create image URL in Oracle Apex. So I have shared that video link into the description box and i button. For second, I have shared that Oracle Apex document link into the description box and you can check out there. If you know then we can proceed further in this video. Let's see the demo. I have created one insert slider information where we can upload image slider text and slider link where image and slider text is a required field. Okay. Now I will choose one image file and give the image text slider information and click on the submit button and you will see we will redirect to the view slider page click on the submit and and you can see the slider page where you can see slider information as a text and in the background you will see the image you can see the image okay now i will go back to the slider information page and upload one more image i will select this image and give a uh, text image to text okay click on submit button and again we are on the view slider page you can see image to text slider text information and the image okay now I will tell you the step which will help you to create same thing in your Oracle Apex application. For implementing dynamic image cursor slider in Oracle Apex first you have to create a database object which is table. So you have to create a slider table where you can store image or your slider text or slider link. For that I am creating one primary key which is help me to get image okay and then slider text and slider link these both uh, column for table in, uh, image information where uh, i mean uh, we are in storing a file name or their image type that is a png or jpg okay for that we are creating that ima uh, ima type or file name okay on this on this table we have to create a form type region okay edit this page as you can see here I am already created a form type region with this slider table okay after this uh, all all the column will populate as a page item in the region okay like as you can see like ID is my 
कॉलम नेम नेम इज माई कॉलम नेम आई एम टाइप इज माई कॉलम नेम फाइल नेम इज कॉलम नेम और स्लाइडर टेक्स्ट और लिंक इज नेम सेम एज पी अंडर स्कोर वन पी वन इज माई पी इज डिफाइन फॉर पेज एंड वन इज डिफाइन फॉर पेज नंबर एंड अंडर स्कोर आई डी इज डिफाइन फॉर कॉलम नेम ओके सो दैट्स यू कैन सी द यू कैन सी द कॉलम इंफॉर्मेशन After that, I have created one submit button, okay. And you have to set the behavior with submit page. You have to execute your validation always on database action is SQL insert because why I am saying that execute validation is on because uh, we have to uh, enable validation over the image and slider text which is required field okay so i am uh, if you go down the image so i have setting this template with required and enable value required option here okay that's why i am we have to enable this execute validation option here okay then you have to go back to the process side and you have to create the process manually okay form automatic row processing select this form region your region name that's it when press on submit and creating one branch go back to go to page number 2 which is view slider page in my application okay so where you want to redirect this page after this submit page so you can add that page here so in my case i am sending uh, after inserting the value into slider table i am sending uh, go back to the view slider page so i can see the information what i am sending and what i am texting in the slider text okay now i will you have to go to the view slider page what we have done here okay i hope you have done same thing page number 1 is done in your side now in page number 2 as you can see here i am doing i have done a uh, create a uh, one region which is view slider and the type is static content okay and in the html code you have to write this html code okay do not change anything class or slider because there is so many things happening with the class and id okay like uh, with the class or with the id we are uh, performing some css or some javascript actions okay then you have to create one uh, json item in my case i am creating this store slider json information which is hidden type okay then you have to create one before header process which is generating your json and is uh, you are installing that json into your variable okay and this is url which i am using for getting my image url okay now after that you have to go back to your page click on the page after in your right side scroll down page property and you can see in the javascript section you have to use the javascript api jquery api i will uh, give this api into the description box okay then you have to go into the function and global variable declaration section open that and use this javascript code okay use this javascript code for the slider and so image in, into that html code okay i will share this code watch this video till end so i will share this code okay then as you can see code in line section where we are uh, putting our uh, json code or css code so you can use this css code in your workspace and you can change as per your requirement okay
then you have to save your page there is no dynamic action okay just save your page and run your page no information display now go back to the home select image fill slider information submit button you can see slider information in the image in the slider okay that's it for today if you like this video then click on the like button and if you have any question related to this video then drop a comment in the comment box and subscribe for more or capex video and thanks thanks for watching my video thank you very much